Have you ever wondered how medicine began? Imagine a time, thousands of years ago when there were no hospitals, no modern tools, just the raw courage of healers facing life and death. What if I told you that in this ancient world surgeons were performing procedures that sound almost unbelievable even today? They were not just guessing, they were writing it all down, creating medical textbooks that still exist, and some of their techniques? They might just surprise you. Stay till the end to discover a secret about their medical knowledge that will make you question everything you thought you knew about history. Picture this. Ancient Egypt. Over 3,500 years ago, while many civilizations were still figuring out basic survival, Egyptian doctors were already performing complex surgeries. We know this because of incredible discoveries like the Edwin Smith Papyrus, a medical textbook from around 1600 BCE. This isn't just some vague collection of remedies, it's a detailed guide with 48 case studies of traumatic injuries. Think about that for a moment. 48 specific patient cases, each with a description of the injury, how to examine it, how to treat it, and even the prognosis, whether the patient would recover or not. It's like a modern medical journal but from the Bronze Age, they were closing wounds with sutures, yes, stitches, on delicate areas like the lips, throat, and shoulders. To fight infection, they used honey and even moldy bread, which we now know contains penicillin-like properties. And to stop bleeding? Raw meat. Simple, yet effective. For severe injuries like those to the head and spine, they understood the importance of immobilization, a practice still used today for short-term treatment. Can you believe the foresight? It makes you wonder, how did they know all this? And it gets even more fascinating. These ancient healers had an astonishing understanding of the human body. The Edwin Smith Papyrus describes cranial sutures, the meninges, the brain's outer surface, and even cerebrospinal fluid. They knew about the heart, blood vessels, liver, spleen, kidneys, and bladder. They even understood that blood vessels were connected to the heart. This wasn't just observation. It was deep anatomical knowledge. They were so focused on practical healing that out of 48 cases, only one mentioned magic. Just one. It shows a profound reliance on empirical observation and rational treatment. If you're finding this as incredible as I am, please take a moment to like this video. It helps us bring more untold stories from history to light. Now here's something that will truly make you pause. While ancient Egypt was pioneering these surgical techniques, other parts of the world were also making their own incredible strides in medicine. For example, ancient India, a civilization often overlooked in these discussions, had its own medical texts, like the Sushruta Samhita, dating back to roughly the same period or even earlier. This text describes over 300 surgical procedures and more than 120 surgical instruments. It even details plastic surgery like rhinoplasty nose reconstruction. Imagine two ancient civilizations thousands of miles apart both reaching such heights in medical science. It speaks to a universal human drive to heal and understand the body. So, the next time you think of ancient history, remember that it wasn't just pyramids and pharaohs. It was also brilliant minds pushing the boundaries of what was possible in medicine, laying foundations that echo even in our modern hospitals. It's a testament to human ingenuity, a story of perseverance and discovery that continues to inspire. If you want to keep discovering the life secrets and mysteries of the universe, subscribe to Universal Insights. Like this video and share it with your friends who might be interested in knowing these incredible historical facts. Until next time, keep exploring.